Hey everybody, it is April 1st, around uh, 2 p.m. And I uh, just wanted to make a couple more statements here about the shoestring thing. I made a video a couple days ago. Uh, it's got a lot of views, which is good, that uh, a lot of people said they didn't know anything about it. Um, I'm not privy to any, any information that isn't out there publicly already. So I'm just going to go through what I know to be true according to the, the Facebook page about him and I've been following that pretty uh, pretty closely uh, so as of now he still is missing and um, I know they've issued a what they call a silver alert it's kind of like an amber alert but for adults the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation has opened a case on it so they're looking into it. I guess that may be like a state version of like the FBI. <clears throat> um, they've featured them on a couple of local uh, news articles or like newscasts, like in the evening news, they've had a couple things um, on the local news about them, like be on the lookout for them. A um, couple things. I, I, I appreciate everyone um, making comments and usually I'm pretty good about responding, but uh, it's been kind of overwhelming amount of conversation going on and I haven't been able to uh, directly answer everybody's comments which I normally try to do um, but a few things that I keep seeing popping up over and over uh, number one uh, all of his gear his bucket uh, his backpack his phone his wallet any of the stuff he goes out riding with is all in his apartment. And uh, that's one of the most concerning things for me is I don't think he would go out riding without that stuff. Uh, but all of that is there in his apartment, according to the Facebook uh, page about it. Uh, I know his, his inflatable canoe, I, I read one thing that that's in his apartment. Um, I know a lot of people are saying check the lake and I don't know if they've how extensive they've looked for him in the lake like dragging it or anything like that but I'm I read that the lake has been searched so I'm, I'm guessing that means probably around the lake but I don't know about like divers and all that kind of stuff um, that's one thing I've seen people keep keep saying and that that was one of my thoughts too about it like check the lake uh, what else of course continued prayers for him definitely welcomed um, there's a there's a gentleman and I I apologize I I, I watched a video uh, he's down down somewhere near Johnson City a friend of shoestrings uh, he, I think his handle on YouTube is, uh, what is it, Southern Rail Fan. Uh, they're, they've been out actively looking for him in the, in the known camps and stuff that he's known to frequent in that area. Uh, and he said he was going to, I think the last time I saw a post from him was last night around 8 p.m., but they were going back out looking for him, which is awesome. I um, feel pretty helpless about it. Um, being up here in Cleveland, I know if I lived closer, I'd be one of those guys out there doing, hitting the hitting the pavement. Um, that's kind of why I'm making this video is just to bring awareness to it. And I, I have seen a few comments in my last video that people were unaware of it, but now they know about it, and also showing concern and stuff, which which is good because um, I know a lot of people don't have Facebook. And I believe there's a TikTok. I'm not on TikTok, but there's a TikTok TikTok uh, discussion or something about it. So if you're on TikTok, you could probably try to find that. But back to that Southern Rail fan YouTube um, gentleman. He was going to try to make a community page, I believe, for like open discussion and stuff. And uh, I wish I knew how to put the link to it in my in my description. I would gladly do that 
Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, that's kind of all I know. His, his phone, his medication, all that stuff's at his apartment. And I, I don't know, I would assume they've, they've checked like local hospitals and shelters. And um, in addition to the Johnson City Police, that Tennessee Bureau of Investigation um, and with the silver alert and stuff, I, I think the word's getting out there, which is good. But uh, if I hear anything, I'll, I'll definitely um, put it up here. But yeah, I know everyone's still worried sick about him. I know he's got a, a lot of health issues and uh, being without his medication, I don't know. I don't know how long he can go without that stuff, but uh, I think as the days go on, it gets more and more concerning. But uh, anyways, just a, just a quick update here. Like I said, I'm not privy to any information that isn't out there publicly on, on, the, on the Facebook page. But uh, all this stuff I've been following pretty close because I do consider him a personal friend. And um, yeah, I guess uh, check out the Southern, Southern Rail Fan or yeah, Southern Rail Fans stuff. He's, he's, he's down there on location actively searching. So um, I think he'd be a good reference as far as people want to know information and stuff. He's a lot more plugged into everything than I am. So anyways, uh, that's about all I have to say today about it. I'm definitely still really upset about the whole thing, but uh, definitely keep them still in your prayers and let's uh, all hope as part of the shoestring army that this has a happy ending. So um, anyways, that's all I got to say. And uh, everybody uh, stay vigilant and Let's uh, let's bring shoestring back back home and hopefully he'll uh, have many years of prosperity ahead of him. <laughs>